How long can you stay underwater? It might depend on the size of your, wait for it, spleen. Recent studies have revealed human adaptations to the high altitudes of the Andes and the Himalayas. These adaptations involve the ability of blood to carry or hold oxygen in these low oxygen heights. Now, researchers are looking for adaptations in people who spend a lot of time underwater. The Bajau people, also known sometimes as the sea nomads, have spent thousands of years diving deep underwater without tanks or snorkels. Baju divers may spend as much as 60% of their workday under the surface, spearing fish and harvesting sea cucumbers. Many mammals, including people, have something called a dive reflex, which is triggered when you plunge your face into the water. Once submerged, your heart rate slows, vessels in your extremities constrict, shunting blood to the body's core, and your spleen gets a big squeeze. This spleen squeeze pumps oxygen-rich red blood cells into the bloodstream. And the researchers in this study found that the Bajo have spleens that are 50% larger than their land-based neighbors. It's possible that these larger spleens may serve as a reservoir for extra oxygenated blood needed for long, breathless dives. The researchers then looked to see if there was a genetic component. They wanted to know if big spleens are inherited or if there was something else going on. After comparing the Bajo DNA with DNA from nearby farmers and from Han Chinese, the team found 25 genes that were different in the Bajo. One notable difference was in a gene called PDE10A. Other researchers have found that in mice, this gene can affect thyroid activity, which in turn affects spleen size. While it's unlikely one gene is responsible for the size of the spleen, the research strongly suggests that there is a genetic component to this spleen enlargement. And it also shows, whether it's high altitude living or the deep diving life, humans have adapted to low oxygen environments in a number of different ways throughout history. I can't wait to see what we do in space.